Hey guys, it's Jen from JCT Rustic Homes. So we are out in the garden right now. Um, I'm gonna try something different this year. Every year we usually till. We do have pretty compacted soil, so it's not a bad thing, uh, but I'm getting impatient. And I think I have, <laughs> sorry for the kid, um, several things I'd like to plant the first of April. And there's, that's only a couple of weeks away. Sorry, uh, toddler life. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try putting down this cardboard and, um, oh, here we go, say hi. Um, putting down the cardboard and straw. And I put down straw before when I um, heavily strawed the garden it was much more manageable but part of the reason why i wanted to give up the garden last year was it was just I, I just couldn't take care of it i didn't get straw down properly um and we had weeds i've never seen before starting to grow um so the reason why i'm not tilling right now is because i think we are too close to planting time i want to get the cardboard down with the straw on top of it so that it has time to kill the weeds hopefully we'll see if it works but i don't have nearly enough cardboard i just wanted to get some of it out of the house so it stopped cluttering up the house um and so i have a little helper maybe and we're gonna get working All right, we're playing in the truck. So um, I only got two bales down because that's pretty much all the cardboard I have right now. It's fine. It's a start. It'll get almost a row of peas or something. Um, type of straw I was using, no idea. Probably a wheat or rye straw, whatever my in-laws had um, growing. They sometimes do a round to sell sometimes organic and then they can use a straw for their cattle and hogs sometimes chickens but for some reason we all seem to prefer wood shavings for chickens and she loves sitting on camera she's a ham anyway um so wheat or straw it usually takes 12 to 15 bales to do our garden uh depending on how thick i do it how dense the bales are how much i'm able to break them up just depends I think a couple years ago I used a dozen and it wasn't enough. So this year we'll probably need 15 to 20 is my guess. If we keep the garden the same size, Colton talked about doing it half. And then, you know, the new year rolled around, seed starting time came and I had grocery bills are, you know, a bit outlandish. So um, we'll see what we can do. If we can keep the weeds managed, I think we'll be better this year. How big is our garden? Um, if it showed in the time lapse, I it's 20 by 50-ish, maybe 20 by 47, 47 or 48 feet. There is a chunk in there that's um, some perennials with asparagus, uh, uh, oregano, if it, if it continues growing. It's It's been overwintering, but it's always scary for some reason. It looks like it's coming on and then it dies back and then it it finally takes over uh, some chives that I never use, but I've kept. And if the sage overwintered, for some reason, my sage just does not seem to overwinter. I don't know if it's the wrong variety or what. That's why I started sage in the last, one of the last videos. So we have straw and started cardboard down. I do try to take all the tape off. It kind of depends on my patience and time if I'm gonna be very tedious about it or if I'm just gonna rip off as much as I can and call it good. And we'll see how far we can get. I didn't have much of a helper because she wanted to play in the truck, right? Oh. <laughs> we we worked with the chickies. We we have some chickies that she loves. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, so. This is what we have so far. It's about a week later. Um, I added like that last night and then this section this morning. 
and we still have all of this to go some of these are perennials that i can put straw around maybe cardboard i don't know and i think i'm going to transplant our strawberries to like that area um they're just not doing well in the area they are i don't think they're getting enough sun and that place gets a pretty good amount of sun typically i figure about um 12 bales for our garden but there's some back there i think there's about six and i think i've used at least four if not more so far so i think we're gonna need closer to 15 maybe um depending on how i do the strawberries because i want a thick layer i don't want I don't want weeds. If I get weeds, I will probably get discouraged and quit, honestly, because that's where I was last year. It was just overwhelming and couldn't keep up. Um, but that's what we got so far, and I'm okay with that because I can't plant much of anything right now. I can plant peas and onions and I think potatoes pretty soon, um, but not... I'm gonna wait like at least one to two weeks because we got a cold snap again, and there's just... They're not gonna germinate great it's like 30s I think but I do have a fun surprise that came yesterday okay I'm in the garage because um, we have some guys in the house that are cleaning vents and that's a thing I'm so very I, that's I'm excited you guys have no idea but what I got in the mail I ordered maybe a month ago but I can ship it when I think I'm gonna want it and I didn't want it super early but I did want it early so it came yesterday and they are my onions and one rhubarb. I love rhubarb. I have a fair amount at my parents, but I have yet to get any of it transplanted here. And I wanted to try this top kind. It's called a Canada Red. I believe I have a Canada Red or a Valent Valentine or something. I'd have to I'd have to see if I can find it. At my parents, it's super red. We like red rhubarb. Supposedly, there's no taste difference, but. Uh, between the red and the green, I mean, but every store has Victorian rhubarb, and I don't like it. It gets very woody. Um, it seeds a lot, like every root shoots up a seed pod. It's very annoying because it can, because we take those off. They are no beneficial aspect to the plant. We take those off um, so that can focus more on leaves and then water gets down in there and it's going to rot out the root eventually. So far they're hardy. They have lasted. They work, you know, when we need a massive amount of rhubarb, that's what produces. But I do not like the Victorian rhubarb. I'd rather, um, try this Canada red, or we have a plant at my parents' house. That's probably been there for 75 years. And I have successfully, dug up a little bit and transplanted it but i don't want to kill the whole plant so i'm a little leery about transferring that so i have one rhubarb root now my um onions i have a patterson that i believe is supposed to be um storage good for storage and a red candy i like the red ones for fresh eating and my salsas um I'll, I'll dice them up and put them in the freezer if it looks like they're going bad and I don't have a use for them yet. But mostly I like them in my salsas and fresh like pico de gallo and stuff like that. But the Pattersons are the white ones or the yellow. I prefer yellow. I don't enjoy white as much. Um, and then they are not onion sets. They are onion roots. I guess that's what you call it. But they come in bundles of approximately 25 or 50. And I'll just pop them in the ground. If they're super small, like these two, I'll plop them in together. Um, they'll turn into small onions anyway. I don't think we have fertile enough soil to produce large onions. I may try working on that this year. I should have put fertilizer down before um, I cardboarded and straw covered any of that. But it is what it is. Um, we'll just make do with what we have. Another thing I wanted to know about um, the straw stuff, I almost got ground cover um, to combat the weeds. I have seen a, several videos about it. Living Traditions Homestead is one of them, and they seem to have really good luck as long as you get a decent quality um, weed fabric. And when I, straw goes for about $5 a bale around here, 
it can go up and down depending on where you are and who you can get it from. Sometimes if you can get a barn clean out, like a straw or hay clean out from a farmer, they might give it to you if you're willing to get it out of there and you don't care if it's good or bad quality. There might be some mold in there, but in my experience, it doesn't really, it hasn't factored into my garden and I'm not that worried about it. It dissipates once it's in the air and everything. Um, so actually the price to purchase more straw the, the amount of straw that I thought I was going to need and the amount of ground cover I could get off of like Amazon was actually about the same price. I was looking at 60 to $75 to get straw and about the same for marginally decent ground cover. I'm not sure it was the highest quality because I'm cheap, but I was willing to give it a try. And we have, my, my husband's loves to burn things so burning holes in it wasn't going to be a big deal. But then he came up with these bales that we had around our house. Um, brought them over for me to use and said that his family has some more. So I will use free when I can. Um, I don't care if the bales are wet, moldy, whatever. The, like I said, the mold tends to get out of there. I'm sure I'm going to get hate mail saying it's going to get in my food. We're going to get sick, blah, blah, blah. I've done it before. We've been absolutely fine. And that was probably the year we had the best garden, honestly, because I heavily put the straw on. I mean, I'm talking like four to six inches on the garden. So, um, cost wise, not everybody likes the aesthetics of, um, ground cover or the weed fabric, but when I have to decide between abandoning my garden and putting something that doesn't look the greatest on there, I, I don't, that's not a factor for me, but the, the price was what factored in it for me. I did not wet the cardboard down. A lot of people do, but I didn't, I knew it was going to be a couple weeks before we, um, we're able to plant there and th we have some rainstorms that came in and probably will come in because it's spring so it'll kind of wet down the cardboard break it down and I'm probably going to do roof stout for my peas there just drop them in the straw um, I'm thinking I'm going to put them in a jar to to um, soak for a day or so and then drop them in there so they're pre-soaked pre-sprout whatever and I don't think the card by then the cardboard will be soft enough and they can go right through it and not have too much of a problem, theoretically. So, if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know down in the comments. Um, otherwise, we will see you the next time. Thanks for joining me, guys.